Alright, so um, I thought I'd do a quick video of the Asmodian capital city. It's called Pandemonia. Um, I'm on the uh, Chinese version of Ion at the minute. Um, don't ask. Uh, I don't know if you guys know either, but um, there's a lot of problems in China at the moment with uh, digital distribution and downloads and that sort of thing, where the government's basically monitoring and double checking everything before they let. Um, normal regular people download stuff so currently the Chinese version of Ion is running on the same exact version as we're using on the beta testing um, they haven't had a patch since the game came out which is fucking bollocks so um, yeah any bugs or anything like that it's, it's likely just down to the fact that they're basically using the beta testing version that we're using now um, Korea apparently is patched up to 1.5 and that's the patch we're going to be getting um, so yeah I've just gone into the, the city uh, you enter a place and it's got a market street, market row, something like that, and, and there's a few sort of um, vendors to either side, just general shit, uh, potions, uh, basic shields and armor and that. Um, also, I'm sort of playing this, it's pretty late my time, so I'm guessing it's even later in China, so it was pretty much empty. Um, I'm on a quiet server anyway, but there's fucking nobody about. Um, this is a sort of bank auction house area. Uh, it's, it's a lot different to um, Sanctum. It, it's, I don't know, I mean it's still quite grand and it, it still looks sort of, um, quite pretty but it, it's, it's, it's a lot more sort of understated I think whereas uh, Sanctum's really sort of bright and glowy and sparkly and all that shit. So um, yeah this is the, uh, the sort of bank area as I said I'm sure it's pretty busy in normal times of play but it looks dead quiet. Um, same sort of ferret things walking around. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in this video. I've sort of changed my settings a little bit, so it should come out higher quality. But uh, all that carpet's on normal mats and everything, so it looks wicked. Uh, same sort of bloom effect on the lights. Um, yeah, it's a Chinese version. So I mean, I've got an English patch that pretty much turns all the quest and NPC stuff into English. But um, a lot of, I mean, the player chat obviously is still in Chinese, and there's still a lot of Chinese stuff about. Uh, this is the crafting area. One thing I noticed is um, the Asmodian seems to call everything a temple of. So you've got the, the Temple of Gold, is where the auction house is. Crafting area is called Temple of Artisans. So uh, I guess they're quite a uh, religious sort of group compared to the uh, Elios. Um, same sort of working looms and stuff. Um, I was getting really bad lag, I'm guessing it's because of fucking servers in China, but just wanted to quick go on the Asmodian injury because I didn't get a chance to play it on the beta testing and I mean to be fair I really wasn't that into it when I was playing it. Um, the whole starting area question there is really dull. Um, I mean as to be expected I suppose from sort of like the, the bad guys but um, it, it just didn't really sort of have the same like, magnetism I suppose as the Elias side did. Um, yeah, there was a lot of roam about. It felt pretty sort of poorly laid out compared to the Elios side, where I mean, you sort of led from one hub to the next. It, it was it was a bit of an actual um, effort getting through it. If I'm honest, uh, I don't know if it was the lag as well. Like that. I mean, I'll, I'll show you later or something. I'll, I'll do it yeah, before I go to bed. But um, yeah, yeah, you, you'll see. I mean, it, it, it doesn't lack any sort of real beauty, but um, it, it's it's very grey, very uh, sort of grim. Um, so this is a sort of central plaza. I think it's called Pandemonium Plaza or Pandemonium Square. I kind of remember. And they go Pandemonium Plaza. Um, this is where you register your guild. That's what I come in. I don't know if it's going to shout very well. On the video, uh, yeah, it was 12,200 kina, and I had 9,000 on me at level 10, so it, it, it's not going to be too hard to save it up. Um, this dude over here, I don't know if it's going to show at all because the writing's pretty small, the English patch changed the font to something quite strange, but uh, this geezer was talking about uh, guild emblems and you know that sort of thing, uh, just sort of highlighting it and he was the guild merchants and then the uh, guild shields and guild weapons and whatever else they get I suppose. I'm trying to think where I went next. I'm, I'm recording sort of like my voice afterwards. Uh, 
yeah, so as I said, I was getting some pretty bad lag. Uh, they actually made it quite unplayable at one point, but I'm guessing I mean, I'm connecting to a Chinese server, so I can't complain too much. Uh, this area didn't seem to serve any purpose. I'm sure I'll open up a quest in place later. I'm probably going to have the quest on me. But um, one thing to note about the Chinese, which is actually I didn't know before I started get, sort of getting into playing the Chinese version of the game, is that they don't actually buy MMOs and they don't pay subscriptions. Um, they sign up to this website, I can't remember what it's called, I'll, I'll, I'll stick the link in the post. Um, and what they basically do is once they've signed up they can download pretty much any MMO of this out and they pay as you go. It's 40p it works out as for two hours and you buy it as sort of two hour lots and I've paid for 12 hours and it comes to like a pound. So I mean I'm guessing it works out pretty expensive for those guys. Um, unless the currency conversion is different of course. This is sort of like uh, the, the town hall. Um, it's a shame because you can't actually get onto any of that sort of balcony and stuff. Um, one thing I noticed here that I didn't sort of notice in Sanctum is that it has another set of class trains here. There's, there's another set somewhere else I'll show you afterwards, but it's got a set of class trains here. As I said, it all still looks quite grand, but it, it's quite understated, I guess. Uh, more sort of like subtle. Like intricacies rather than like big glowing obelisks and stuff. He's like the mayor. Um, I don't know what's going on with those shoulder pads. Yeah, this is my Asmodian guy. I sort of gave him a bit of a pot belly just for a laugh. Um, one thing I didn't realise, and I'm not too keen on, is the fact that they don't have human feet and they don't wear boots. They have sort of like clawed, bare, dinosaur, I suppose, sort of feet. Um, I don't think you can see him very well here. He's only got three toes and he's got a toe on his heel to uh, sort of grip onto the floor with. And they run all hunched over. Um, yeah, a bit weird. But their fingers are also clawed, I think, or they have lots of clawed sort of talons. Um, yeah, it's just the sort of central part. The same eyed animation you get on Elias' side from if you're buying water for too long, catches a fish with his bare hands. Yeah, I wasn't. I'm not 100% sold, and I don't like the back hair. It, it, it sort of runs, it's like a main that runs down the centre of their spine and turns into a towel. Um, no, I'm just not keen on it, and you can't pick sort of like a normal skin colour, which I wasn't too worried about, but you feel a little bit like an alien running around blue skin or green skin. I think one was just pure black as well, and I saw a few guys with, like, with bright red hair and they were sort of proper dodgy. Um, yeah, NPCs up here, little kids. That's the overlay version of the map, you can get like a full screen version, or you can just pop that up if you just sort of a quick glance. Uh, it was quite a big city, but I don't I don't think it had I don't know. Um, it, it didn't feel to me as big as Sanctum, but I think it probably was. It, it's just sort of laid that quite differently. In, it's not in the sky as well than Sanctum, it's just like a regular ground based city, you know. More normal. Uh, it's just a tavern here, I just popped in too quickly. I went into it a little bit earlier before I started recording and I was quite surprised at what I found in the back room. So yeah, pretty basic looking until you go around here and uh, there's a cage for dancers. You can only imagine what goes on here on roleplay servers, but um, I did try and get in the cage, and that was because I made my guy pretty fat, but he didn't fit. <laughs> but I thought I'd just dance anyway. Uh, I have no idea, don't ask. Alright, well what I'm going to do now is, um, YouTube has a stupid fucking limit cap of 10 minutes. So I'm going to pause this and then I'll start recording again in a sec. <laughs> 